guys and welcome back for another short flow. Today's session is a mobility and stability session. If you have a med ball or something similar to hand, then go ahead and grab it, but you can do all these movements without any props at all. So other than that, all you're going to need is some space on the floor, a mat if you have one, and whenever you're ready, come and join me in Tadasana. The first movement we're going to do today is a med ball squat rotation. So you're going to grab hold of your med ball if you have one. If you don't, you don't need one at all. It just helps to add a little bit of extra weight to this workout if you want to get the most from it. You're going to then come down into a seated cross leg position on your mat with your med ball hugged in towards your chest. From here, you're going to lift yourself up. So you're in a squat position with your legs crossed. You're simply going to twist around, not moving your feet at all off their spots, and then come back to a seated position with your legs crossed the other way. You're then going to reverse it in the opposite direction. So you're going to lift, twist, and sit. You're going to do two more reps of these on your own. and then relax once you've done those. So you should have done six twists in total, three in both directions. You can now put the med ball to one side. The next movement we are going to do is a zigzag. This is gonna help with your hip mobility. So we're gonna come down into a kneeling position. So we're gonna start with kneeling on the left leg and you're just going to step the right foot out at a 90 degree angle to your left knee. So your hips are nice and open with that 90 degree angle to the corner of one end of the mat or the other. From here, just take your hands to your chest or keep them out of the way, it doesn't matter what you do. You're going to lean all the way over that right leg as far as you can go. And then when you've got there, hold for a count of two and then come back, back to center and then sit back on your left heel. Inhale to lift, exhale to lean. Inhale back, exhale to sit. Inhale to lift, exhale to lean, try and keep that heel to the floor, inhale to lift back, exhale to sit back. So try and keep this chest nice and upright. We'll do one more together and then we'll switch sides. So inhale back to centre, lean all the way over to the right, inhale back to centre, exhale as you sit back. So you're getting a nice toe squat as well into that as well. Inhale back to centre, we'll switch sides. So right knee goes down. Left foot goes out to the side in the exact same way with that 90 degree angle. And again, wherever you want to place your hands, you're gonna lean all the way over to the left, keeping that heel glued, and then back to center, and then sit back on your heel. Inhale to lift, exhale to lean. Inhale to lift, exhale to sit. Inhale to lift, exhale to lean. Inhale to lift, exhale to sit, and we'll just do one more together. Inhale to lean, oh sorry, inhale to centre, exhale to lean, keeping that heel glued, remember. Inhale to come back to centre, exhale to sit back, and then inhale as you come back up again to centre and relax. The next movement we are going to do is squat to knee tap. So you're going to find yourself in a fairly narrow squat stance, or as narrow as you can go. And we're going to come all the way down, trying to keep our heels glued to the floor. So take your feet up to wherever they need to be. You're then going to keep your torso nice and lifted, and you're going to try and tap both knees forwards, shoot the hips forwards into this upright kneeling position, and then come back and find your squat stance again. So you're going to tap the knees, shoot the hips forwards, come back, Find your squat stance. So this is going to help with ankle mobility and hip mobility. So again, three more reps. So we get to five in total. You might find these are getting harder as you go. 
Last one. And relax. The next movement we are going to do is a kneeling recline. So we're going to set ourselves up with hero pose legs. So hero pose, you're sitting in a kneeling position, either with your bum on your heels, or if mobility allows, just take the knees out slightly wider so they're underneath your hips for this one, and the feet out to the side so your bum can come all the way down in between that space and the floor. From here, you're going to come all the way up, take your hands across your chest, you're going to lean back as far as you can using that core strength. Once you're there, sit back down into that hero pose. Inhale to lift back up, reset, and then start to come back. Use that strength, come down, and then sit back up again. So you're using that strength, pausing for a moment, and then reclining down with control throughout. So when you're ready, just three more reps. Lean back, hold, recline. Sit up, come back to start. Lean back, hold, and then sit. Reset. Last one. Recline, hold, come down, and then reset and relax. Moving back to the hips and ankles, we're going to come back down into that squat position and we're going to do single leg knee taps. So inhale to come all the way up, exhale to come down into your garland pose. And you can keep your hands either to your heart like this or you can lift them out in front of you, wherever you feel comfortable. We're going to just simply tap one knee to the floor and then tap the other knee to the floor, always resetting in that squat position each time. We're going to go for three taps on each knee, so last one, and relax. The final one of the day is a all over body strength and stability movement. It is going to be taking bear pose on your hands and your knees with your knees hovered, up to chair pose, and then back again. We're going to do three reps in total, and I'm going to coach you through the first one. So coming from your bare position, so you're in this kneeling position on your mat, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and then you're just simply lifting your knees so they are hovering above the floor. From here, you're gonna shoot back and come into chair pose, hold, and then come back down, and come to bare, hold. So really brace your core in each, push up, find your chair pose, Relax as you come back down and find your bear pose. One last one, push up, find chair. And then come back down to bear. And then just relax in extended child's pose for a few breaths. If you want to make this into a longer workout, then feel free to do extra reps or even repeat the round two or three times. Good luck, let me know how you get on and I'll catch you all next week.